Lori is so amazing. She knows the theories, but she also has the real life examples. You know, it's her education, it's her background in fund development and working with a diverse um, number of organizations over the years. So she has a, a wide range of knowledge of, of groups and, and how different things work and how fund development actually works for different organizations. But just her passion and, and enthusiasm, and I think it's that sense of humor that comes through. Because he was always at the track, people knew him. So it was always a thrill. When I went on the track, I was just a little kid. Oh, hello, Mr. Abernathy. How are you today, Mr. Abernathy? My dad was like, whoa, everybody knows who my dad is. Wow. <laughs> uh, he was a handicapper for the, uh, in the Ontario uh, jockey uh, horse racing. And so I spent my summers at the racetracks. <laughs> I think we were just an average middle-class family growing up in, in Toronto. Um, but in, in 1982, um, I joined the Shaw Festival Theatre, a nonprofit organization, and I was inspired by the leadership of Christopher Newton, who was the artistic director there. It was the ability to motivate people and the way everyone came together as an organization to move, to move us forward, and we did. Education is my passion. For many years, I worked in fundraising in education because I believe that education changes lives. I experienced that in several groups at the University of Calgary, at SAIT, where a team came together and made incredible differences for people that people won't really recognize, but it'll have happened to them and will have made a difference. I also think as professionals we have a duty to give back to our own profession and so what I get out of it now is helping and mentoring other people. I, I think one of the things that development officers should be looking at and doing is what leadership roles can they fill. And, um, it's, it's part of my heritage, part of my culture to give back, to do deeds, to do good deeds. It's a mitzvah. So, I don't question what I do, it's what I'm here on earth to do. There's a saying in Judaism, tikkun olam, repairing the world. And every day of my life, I'm helping repair the world. Now, I work for uh, the Meow Foundation and I'm helping save the lives of cats and kittens. Those relationships between an animal and their owner. And if I can save one, what a wonderful thing. There's an expression in Judaism that says, if you've saved one life, you've saved the whole world. I'm trying to live up to that.